holiday favorite is back as A Christmas Carol returns to the Meadowbrook Theater at Oakland University. And we're catching up with the actors as they prepare. It's no surprise, COVID has changed their pre-show rituals and caused some pre-production challenges. Paula Tutman joins us this afternoon live from the Meadowbrook stage. And Paula, the show will go on, but of course, with a few changes. Absolutely. So I'm inside a building on the OU campus. Masks are mandatory. I don't know if you can hear this, but in the background right here, this is the sound of live holiday theater coming back to this stage. Now, this is a production of uh, Christmas Carol, and usually this stage is teeming with children, but there has been a pretty serious uh, COVID cause and effect at play. Performances of the beloved family holiday classic, A Christmas Carol, is back at Meadowbrook Theater on the campus of Oakland University this season. Christmas Carol is our holiday love letter to Southeast Michigan, and it's the staple everybody loves to come see. Last year, the theater was dark because of COVID. This year, the first performance is just hours away. Well, the monitor real quick. But just getting to this point Those feel nice up here, man. has been a game of chess with COVID-19 running the board. Start with auditions. This is a family classic with child actors, but for this production, every actor had to be vaccinated. At first, uh, you know, children couldn't be vaccinated under 12. Uh, so that was very difficult. So we were trying to find kids 12 to 14 who are vaccinated, who can do the show. But approving the shot didn't come in time to cast younger children. We are so grateful that five to 11 year olds can be vaccinated and now people can feel better about bringing their kids to the show being vaccinated, but that wasn't early enough for us to be able to cast kids that were that young. Yeah, so now when people come to see the show, you're gonna see a tiny Tim, but he's gonna be older. <laughs> he's gonna still be tiny, but he's not gonna be as tiny as, as he usually is. 14 year old Ethan made the cut for the seventh year in a row, but this production is so different from anything he's ever done before. It meant projecting past the mask to resonate with the director. It does make you more hot and you get more tired easy, so that could make auditions a little harder. And being vaccinated isn't just enough. Cast members have to test themselves three times a week, which can feel like a re-audition. Except for this one, you don't want a positive response. I play Martha Cratchit. The routine's not so fun. And um, it kind of honestly, when you like stick like the little COVID test stick up your nose, it like kind of hurts. And COVID threatens to scrooge the production at every turn because one single breakthrough case could take out the entire cast for the run of the show, which is why they are so darn careful. Because even in a production of A Christmas Carol, science is not fiction. He was fully vaccinated back in May, and so when we had this opportunity to come up and we heard the whole cast was going to be vaccinated. We were excited about that. Yeah, so listen, here's the thing. The cast is that thin. No one can get sick. They can't afford it. They're taking this very seriously. So they've got a performance, a tech performance that starts in exactly one hour and 24 minutes. The show opens next week to the public. Here's the thing. These seats blacked out. You have to wear a mask inside the audience but they're protecting the staff, or actually the cast, from the audience so that they can take their masks off during the actual production, Karen. It's a lot, but live theater, holiday theater is back, COVID style. Oh, I have to tell you, that music sounds just beautiful. And they sure are going through a lot to prepare. We appreciate you taking us behind the scenes, Paula. Thank you so much. You Still ahead, first of four, potential brake trouble for thousands of drivers, the popular model being recalled, and some reassurance from the automaker. Our Help Me Hank alert is coming up next. Also, headlines from around the world, including a new hypersonic missile test and a sobering comparison to the Cold War. Later, she's one of the most famous athletes in China, and no one has seen her for two weeks. The story that has champions like Naomi Osaka and Chris Everett tweeting their concerns this afternoon. Stay with us. Dream vacation turns father's worst nightmare. She was beaten. She was raped. Next, Inside Edition. Coming up next on Inside Edition on Local 4. Real is more than just a game. Benjamin has learned his letters from watching, and Cecilia wants to be Vanna when she grows up. Aww. Wheel of Fortune, tonight at 7, only on Local 4.